Okay, Christian, just a few um, notes from your um, lesson on Saturday, just to help you remember what we need to work on in the next few lessons. Um, just your posture. I know you're still quite short, but you need to bend over a little bit more here for me. Okay, so the measure of a good posture is that the, if I extend the shaft, it cuts through the bottom of your belt. So you can see yours is cutting through nearly your belly button. So I don't expect you, like I said, I don't expect you to get there because you're short, but you can definitely, you can definitely move a little bit and maybe get get it there. So if you move your back over and your head a little bit more forward, then uh, you'll have a lot more room to swing the shaft. You're doing a really good job with your arms in this position, but when you swing back, your head is moving forward to it, where, where it kind of wants to be. So I think if you start with your head there and your back a little bit more over, then uh, you'll be in a better position and you'll have a lot more room to swing the shaft. Like I said, your arms are doing quite a good job. They're swinging nicely to the target there and the shaft is in a really good position there. So that's why you hit a lot of good shots. And maybe just if you hit the ball a little bit fat or a little bit low, it's just because your posture is a little bit too high. So if I compare you here to Tiger, you can see your arms are swinging in the same direction. Especially this part here is really important. And yet yeah, you are swinging down nearly in the same direction. So it's very important to swing the shaft at the target and, and you are doing that. Uh, if we just look at your video from the front. Um, I'll just get someone to compare you to. And then you find yours from the front. Okay. Now from the front, your, your posture looks pretty good. Um, your grip's much better, um, and, and I'm quite happy with that. Uh, just uh, what we can do a little bit to improve your rotation is when you swing back, you're tilting a little bit. When your head moves down, your left shoulder is also tilting down. So you're not right loading, you're not getting your weight into your right side. So this first part of the back swing is meant to, to get your weight behind the ball. And then from there you can turn into your into your right heel. So in, in this position here you can see Ernie's right side's loaded. Okay, and he's um, he's turned and he's nicely balanced. So because of that first move of yours, you've tilted down, you kind of your back looks really different at the top of the backswing, doesn't it? You've got a a kink here where you shouldn't have one. So your your um, pelvis is also tilted a little bit down to the left hand side whereas Ernie's hips are a lot more level and uh, his back is in a different position to yours so if in the next few lessons we can have your have your back or the tracing of your back look like that at the top of the back swing and not that then you'll mean you'll have your weight a lot more on the right hand side and you'll be able to swing through the ball a little bit better so I hope this helps you to understand um, what we need to work on and I look forward to our lesson on Saturday.